Welcome Sagittarius to your love reading for November of 2018. So uh, let's check into what's going on with you. Sagittarius and love. So uh, three cards and it's going to be uh, the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the month potentially for you and love. So beginning of the month for Sagittarius. So uh, Pisces had this as well and this is uh, interacting with others, uh, socializing, there could be a child involved, uh, but usually having a good time and uh, inspired to uh, travel, to do something creative, something that you like and being around your romantic love interests or getting to know somebody new. Um, nice. So let's see the middle of the month for Sagittarius. So it seems like to me where a lot of you are having to kind of have the detachment uh, approach as you have fun socialize do you and uh, because the other person might not be available they might not really be ready right now so um, that might be an issue um, others of you might be also dealing with in the middle of the month where either you or another person might be having an issue of letting go um, and holding on and have bad memories of a past you know nightmares of a past or just a bad falling out with somebody and uh, potentially thinking about relocating going to a different place because you want to get away from uh, something that has been very uh, toxic or maybe have you feel very guilty about something um, clarify the six of cups in reverse for Sagittarius yeah um, and not being honest about it um, that's something that some of you are either keeping um, closed away and if you're dealing with somebody who you can't really figure out they might be having an issue with moving on from someone and uh, you see the outcome for Sagittarius and then you rest and reflect on some things so um, with and that's interesting because with the um, Sun in Scorpio that does activate your 12th house of secret sorrows and closure and a lot of secrets that you might be holding on to keep someone else's feelings um, not to hurt their feelings or someone is doing that with you and I feel like that might be important um, but the page of wands is a great card in love because it tells you that sometimes you might not have a choice because you have to do different things um, to kind of get away from what's been pulling you down or who's been pulling you down or things that are not working out or you feel like things aren't working out so it takes some uh, time between you and them so um, let's see the 10 card Celtic cross for Sagittarius for November 2018 get everything with so I have a, a I want to respond to something yeah, that was my sister so um so let's see 10 car kelp to cross breath for Sagittarius so they have everything that's coming towards you your response their response hidden factor or obstacle or any outcome for Sagittarius I love for November 2018 so um, there's a lot of stress um, somebody is either stressed out you might be stressed out so this is where you have a lot to say and you might be doing this because you feel you know energetically you might feel alive um, you might feel like you're passionate about your opinion I'm very opinionated about uh, someone else and the predicament that you might be in and uh, either sometimes this is like aggressive communication or the fact that someone is aggressively communicating with you to express themselves um, could always be flipped around but Aquarius, Libra, Gemini um, that you might be dealing with and home and friction around the living environment of either a marriage or a arrangement that you might be sometimes behind closed doors with a lot of confrontation or um, arguments but kind of allowing things to be okay things might settle down because the four of wands is showing up a lot of you might be trying to push forward because you want to relocate you want to move you want to move into a newer place or get married and you might need to calm down and kind of ring it in and take your time as you approach that particular outcome and as you focus on career right now that's what it's needing to be in focus so um, the King of Pentacles is showing up, so that's the Capricorn Virgo Taurus, and you have two people that are showing up. And I'm not sure if some of you might be in any marriage or relationship, and you're texting or communicating with someone on the outside um, of the arrangement, or someone that you're dealing with is like that. That's the scenario that's going on, and you're trying to rush or push that person out of the scenario, or something like that's going on. In the recent past, this is where you 
one one one. <laughs> um, it's where you may have uh, with whatever you had to do with whoever you may have been dealing with. That energy could still spill over into November, and it may have been a lot of communication, doing a whole bunch of different things, trying to deal with one situation, and there's another, trying to find closure, can't really do it. Just a lot going on, and you feel like you may have just given up because it's the best thing to do, um, and allow circumstances to fall where they may. Um, and your your mind, your your it's almost like you. I see this like hoping for somebody to either come towards you, or being able to move forward in a newer direction after you get away from um, what's been really heavy or um, a heavier energy of constantly hearing somebody. Or someone not listening to what you have to say so uh, making plans to start over um, Sagittarius um, no who had this um, I'm sorry I had to I had to look for who this was for and this was cancer cancer had this and some of you might be dealing with the cancer but the person that's coming towards you um, it seems like they might not be coming towards you and that might be um, an issue now for some of you they're definitely having a lot to say and they might be frustrated but the person that you would really like to connect with um, they may be dealing with another person or a different issue which leaves you kind of um, feeling hurt or um, just kind of down right now um, others of you are healing from somebody that you have moved on from literally through maybe a uh, loss like death um, transformation you know transition that might be an issue um, and as you go through the scenario you're going through the breakup um, you might be letting somebody go and just turning it back on them right now because they're turning it back on you or you're dealing with a breakup um, even if you kind of hide the fact that that's going on for some that's what I get a sense of um, and cancer had this for that person as well um, Aries Leo Sagittarius the Queen of Wands is in reverse and that is somebody who um, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign but that person might affect you in some way and that um, someone who's very volatile um, maybe even sexually wanting to get closer um, using different tactics to kind of pull you in to reel you in um, often very manipulative or they can just be dishonest and that person doesn't even have to treat you in that way it's just that you're not happy with them or you're disappointed with them your advice um, well the hidden factors is just that there is an injustice and we're looking to what that might be but a lot of times it's um, maybe unhappy with the Libra um, an injustice when it comes to somebody having to take somebody to court but automatically kind of premeditating what's going to happen I'm not you know making up stories or you know not telling you the truth about how you feel or someone you know communicating with someone in a marriage or um, temptation these kind of things where things are not done in the right way and the world is in reverse where the judgment card well justice is in reverse those are definitely issues of um, not being able to clear out cycles because there's a whole lot of residue that you need to clean up first um, so let's see let's look into uh, justice in reverse for Sagittarius well um, well we had a four swords um, let's see about justice in reverse that came up before you already the hermit is there as well and we have the seven of pentacles in reverse and often a lot of times we um, two things where we kind of where you drop somebody or you leave somebody behind and it's almost like it's best for you to take care of that situation and not just neglect it um, not leave something to kind of unfold as it must because that's not taking care of your unfinished business and if you leave it in that way that cycle will be there for you to take care of when you come back to it um, that's what it seems like to me and for some of you it's like walking away from someone who has questions for you and you just don't answer them or you don't you ignore that person or you break up with somebody because they um, sometimes it's coming through of revenge I'm trying to get somebody back because of how they treated you it just depends there and clarify the um, clarify the tennis sword for the person coming towards you yeah, that person might be uh, afraid of committing uh, for some. Not really sure about the commitment for some. Clear by the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. 
in the Wheel of Fortune, some of you um, definitely are two things where you might have a uh, soulmate or karmic connection with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus that's not quite finished. And often as well that you can get what you wish for, what you actually want, if you are to get in the mode of focusing on financial security first and foremost. And then being able to kind of close chapters and then being able to open up a new one, but you can't have two open at the same time is just not going to work that way. Um, you don't really read two books at the same time. You go back and forth, so that might be too too much for one human to take on. And uh, just be mindful about that. So let's see messages for Sagittarius for November 2018. Do we have unrequited love? It says um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Um, Leo had that. I'm not sure if you relate to a Leo, but um, Leo did have that card. And for a lot of you, that that is it's something that a lot of you might definitely be separating from. And you need to be honest about it. Let that person know. And um, so that you can move forward into something else. I feel like that's really important. A message for Leo for November 2018. Cool. And then reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life that person that you have unfinished business with they're going to continue to be in your life or in your energy in some way until things are handled in the right way that's what it seems like one second and let's do um sorry about that um let's do one card from archangel michael for sagittarius in love then we have make a commitment it says archangel michael as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So this is where I feel like two things. Being committed to finding your way out of the unsatisfactory or unhealthy relationship or marriage that you might be in. Um, and find a closure with that person or situation so that you can be able to be open to commitment between you and another person even if you feel like things are off they're off for a reason um, so that you can take care of things so um, just be uh, you know mindful about that so that's your reading for November I hope the messages did help out in some way lots of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes I wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychicalfills.com and schedule something for you have a good one